Hey! What's up? Doing another video on my ride home, of course, because when else am I gonna do this? I'm, I'm not gonna do it while I eat dinner, sorry. Um, so, last week I kind of did an intro video and then I kind of informed you guys about how I went and interviewed with Charles Schwab and kind of talked to you about the, um, the academy that they have and the position they have available and all that good stuff. I just today heard back from the academy and they are really interested. They want to talk to me, get to know me a little more. They want to tell me how to go through the whole um, application process, how long it all takes, all that. And answer any questions I have, of course, which, you know, I have them. Um, but I'm making this video because I am also talking with Northwestern. Um, I don't know how I feel about them. They're very similar to Charles Schwab. Um, from the research I've done, pretty decent people, at least where I'd be working. Um, I was able to talk to a current employee. Um, he's around my age. He interned there for a year first, and then he got hired on. He's a financial advisor. He says he's doing really well, makes really good money, um, but he doesn't like the environment that he's in. And that's kind of a big red flag, obviously. You know, someone my age that isn't enjoying the environment. Um, so that was enlightening. It was a good conversation, but um, I don't know. There's more people that I'm going to talk to before talking to the recruiter or whoever it is that wants to talk with me. Um, and he's been there, I think they said five years. And he has kind of his own business inside of Northwestern. So he has like his business, um, it has its own name, and then it has the kind of umbrella of Northwestern over top of it. So he can say, oh, you know, I work for Northwestern, but then he can also say, you know, I own my own company at the same time, which is something that I learned you can't do with Charles Schwab. So it's just kind of interesting to know what's a it's, it can be a really powerful thing um, depending on my ultimate goal in my career because when you bring in clients to Charles Schwab they're Schwab's clients they're not yours you don't get to keep them if you decide to go and then there's the non-compete of course so you can't reach out to your clients and be like hey like <laughs> I left you should follow me you can't do that <laughs> so um, at least for 18 months I believe is the, uh, the time frame. So there's that whole thing. Um, I don't know. Again, just looking for some insight from you guys. If you've heard of Northwestern, if you have researched it yourself, if you've invested with them, if you know someone who works for them, like hook a girl up. Like I want to know this stuff. I want to know everything I possibly can before I take this next big step in my life, which is hopefully working towards becoming an advisor. Um, you know, I've, I'm constantly getting feedback of, oh, you know, you should become a paraplanner first. And then if you talk to people in the industry, they're like, mm, that's really like a support role. And that's about as far as you'll go. If that's what you get, people won't take you seriously or think that you want to be an advisor. So that's something that I'm still like confused about because taking the course would be amazing and so educational and it would give me some insight to things that maybe I'm not immediately getting or may not ever get from my current employer so I don't know it's just kind of something I'm also contemplating it's it's a whole mess of things here really I mean there's so many paths you can take um but that's all for another video that's another video so yeah, if you've heard of Northwestern, if you've invested with them, if you've worked for them, if you've interviewed with them, if you know the good, the bad, and ugly, hit me up, let me know, drop a comment. I want to learn everything I can about this place. <laughs> Thanks.